In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we're going to take the first of several looks at using the tool called the Automatic Beat Detector. This is what you use on an audio file uh, to detect the beats so that you can use those beats as key places in your project. Now you might ask, well, when would that ever be useful? Well, I happen to be working on a project right now for a church about missionaries going to Spain. And so what I'm going to do is I've got part of it started here where I I'm begin with a map of the country. And then as it moves along, I'll have a box pop up. And then after the box, we'll have a name come into the box. I've got a generic one right now. And then we'll have a picture of, a, of the missionary family. And then we'll have a box pop up. And then that will be populated with some of the kinds of things they're doing over there. So what I'd like to do is have those things come in, but it would be great, I thought, if I could do that with some of the music of the country and tie the movement of the objects to the beat of the music. It just makes, uh, it, makes it more powerful. So there's a couple ways you could do that. I have a music file here at the bottom, and I can click on that. I can go ahead and play it. I like that I like that note right there and what I could do is I could uh, take my mouse and move it over my timeline indicator and it says well we're about at uh, 24 frames 10 seconds and I could uh, make a mark on there or I could just remember that and then drag some of this stuff over there so it would pop up on the screen at that point in time and that's how I st actually started doing the project but one time I thought this is too hard. This is too difficult. There's got to be an easier way. And then I remembered, oh, I've got a beat detector. So what I'd like to do is bring this in on the beats. So let's see how we can do that. What I'm going to do is click on my audio file. Now, the interesting thing, interesting thing about this file is you notice the beginning, there is virtually no audio. And my first inclination was to cut it. But when I cut it, when I edited it, I ran into a problem when I launched the beat detector because it took the first few seconds of that audio file and it blocked them out with a red mask and it said, this is restricted. I can't detect the beat on this part of your file. I went online and looked for some solutions or some reasons and I couldn't find anything. If you can, please let me know. But what, ha what I decided to do then is I will not cut this file shorter until I'm done with this process. So I'm going to do that first. And I find out, found out that works just fine. So I'll right click on the audio file and then I'll click on use automatic music beat detection. What that does is it pops up a screen for you and the screen has several components. First of all, it's not sizable. I can't make it any bigger but it, it has the music here and it has a, uh, a play button, uh, a stop button. It also allows you to magnify the audio and drag to see exactly what it looks like wherever you're at. You can put your playhead on it anywhere you like. Let's uh, go back here a little bit and I can click here and I can go ahead and play anything else I want. Then it has my, my actual beat tools at the bottom. There are two sections. One is for automatic music beat detection. This will automatically detect the beats and you can choose the minimum time between the markers. Now, if you have something that has just tons and tons of beats it might detect, you might want to enlarge this number um, because you probably won't use all of them in any case. It goes from 0 0.01 all the way up to 5.0. My default happened to be set at 2.0. We'll leave it about there. And then all I have to do is click the detect button below it and boom, it detects what it considers to be beats. But it may not be the beats that I want to use in my project. So, um, this is not the method that I normally use uh, because sometimes I'm looking for a lower note rather than a higher note and it's, it's detecting high note beats or some kind of variation thereof. 
So what I'd like to do is give you a different way of doing that. If you choose this method and it works for you, let me show you a couple of other things you can do. You can click on the garbage can and that will remove all the beats. I can click on detect again. And if I want to just remove one, I can simply click on it and press the delete button on the right. Or I can move my timeline indicator where I want another beat and I can click the add button on the right and that will add another beat. You notice the difference in color. And if I go ahead and add another beat right here, the former one turns blue. The most recent addition is orange. That's the only thing the color means here. So that's how you can add and remove beats from the automatic side. We'll take them all away right now. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to do the manual. So how do you add them manually? Well, what I do is I'll just move a playhead about here, I think. And all you need to do is play and then click the add button wherever you want it. But there's a much nicer feature if you want. I prefer to actually to play it and, and press the A key on the keyboard. I find that a lot easier than using a mouse click. So I'm going to do just a couple seconds and uh, you can listen to the music and see how easy it is. You'll see the button flash every time I press the A key. Okay, that's as simple as it was. We'll magnify this and we can see the places where I uh, attempted to hit the notes I wanted to in order to detect the beats. So when you're all done with your entire piece of music, what you do is uh, you take it and you click the word, uh, the button apply at the lower right corner of the screen, and it will take it and drop it down and drop the, uh, these items down into your track, into your click, clip track at the very top of the screen. And then we're going to show you in the next lesson how you can take these items and move them in those locations to make a pretty impressive project where visual and audio comes together in an impressive way.